Hello there, my beautiful Taurus friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, Taurus, this is your October 2024 prediction. What I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with an Enchanted Forest Oracle card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck, and then close off with an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, let's call in spirit, everyone, and see what it is that spirit wants to share with you in this month of October. So look at this. Remember who you are. So I don't know if any of you are seeing a unicorn or a white horse. This is coming in as a confirmation for you. And if you haven't seen one, you're seeing one now on my screen. So you carry stardust in your bones, your ancestors' wisdom in your blood, and the whole universe in your soul. Know yourself and nothing will bring you down. So once again, you carry stardust in your bones, Taurus, your ancestors' wisdom in your blood, and the whole universe in your soul. Know yourself and nothing will bring you down. You're uniquely yourself. And this is where spirit is asking you to step into that true, authentic version of yourself. Be yourself is what spirit is saying. Remember who you are. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of experiences that you're going to experience this month of October where spirit is uh, encouraging you to step into your own here. Okay, so Knight of Wands, we have a lot of action. Okay, this is a card of motion. This is a card of energy. And what's happening here is you're being asked to take that first step or to keep moving here in your life. There's also freedom in the energy of this card as well. Whatever freedom means to you, you're actually heading towards that freedom. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles or sorry, the Knight of Wands to start. We have the Hierophant card. So there's a higher power at play here. There always is but you're going to actually feel and experience this in your own life, especially here in the month of October. There is a higher studies, there's higher knowledge coming in. Spirit is asking you to learn in order to grow. Take in as much information as you can at this time, okay? You're expanding here spiritually, but also consciously, okay? The Hierophant is a major arcana card. This energy is going to be prominent in your life. However, it tends to be in the background. So some of you are going to feel this intensely while others you're gonna feel this subtly. And we have the Two of Swords. So some of you are going to make a big decision in your life somewhere around something. And perhaps you're thinking about it already. Perhaps you're thinking about maybe this could go right, maybe this could go wrong. Whatever these thoughts are, I'm getting somebody going back and forth with what they want to do, they're unsure. Maybe there's uncertainty or confusion here. So clear your mind of any kind of thoughts. Clear everything that you're thinking and start over with your thought process. What is it that you desire? What are you wanting to experience in your life and start from that? Now, I want you to use your own intuition with my reading today. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Now, this is going to strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So look at that. Uh, a redirection of your energy here. This is what's happening. There's a new path that is available for you. And I feel some of you are meant to make a big decision in your life. And what spirit wants you to do is to follow your heart. Follow your intuition. Don't worry about what other people have to say or what uh, all about. Like I'm getting a people pleasing energy. Don't worry about other people. I want you to do what it is that you want. Okay. So before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind but also check out your moon, rising, and Venus signs. So I'm getting someone that's kind of stuck in the middle here with a decision. And 
Perhaps you're looking back at the past. Maybe you're looking at things that maybe didn't work out for you or maybe they did work out for you. But I feel like there's almost like this energy or this weight being put on something from the past. I want you to release it and let it go, everyone, if this is what you're going through. So we have the Knight of Wands. This is where Spirit wants you to start preparing and planning, okay? What is it that you desire to experience in your life, Taurus? What are you wanting to bring into your life? What is it? What is that big dream? And they really want you to dream big here. Use your imagination, right? I feel a lot of us are on autopilot, right? We have habits that we have built up over time. And a lot of times we're just kind of going through our life uh, without even looking at where we're going. A lot of times we're in our head. And I'm feeling someone that's really in their head right now, thinking about a lot of things. And this is where you want to release the energy and get outside of your head and start looking at where you're going, right? And this is what this card is, the Knight of Wands, is the energy that you're putting out there. You want to be actually looking in the direction that you're moving rather than being inside of your head, okay? Not, they want you to snap out of autopilot. And this takes a little bit of time to do, everyone, to snap out of auto, autopilot. Um, you know, those of us that drive to and from work, sometimes when we're on our way home, this happened to me, happens to me quite a bit, is anytime I'm driving and I'm driving a long distance, I'll forget uh, how I even got home because I've been in my head the whole time. And that's programming. We have a habit, a program that consciously um, gets us to where we need to go because we're on autopilot. That's an autopilot thing that we do. So this is what we want to snap out of and become aware of what it is that we're actually doing in the present moment. And we've got the moon in the background here. So your path is being illuminated here. Things are coming to the surface here that maybe you weren't aware of. Things that you're going to actually see by becoming aware, right? And what they're saying is you want to know where it is that you're going. You want to be aware and awake, right? And prepare, plan, strategize for the future here for uh, that desired experience. Now we are approaching 2025 in three months here. October is a very powerful month for uh, a lot of us to kickstart that energy, align ourselves to that version of ourselves that we want to step into 2025 as. And right now you're meant to take those steps. You're meant to actually take action and become an active participant in the co-creation of the reality that you want to experience, right? I've been talking about this. I feel it's so, so important that we all recognize that we are the ones that are responsible for our own souls. We have to take control of our consciousness because our consciousness is what creates our reality. Some of you might not believe that. I'm a huge believer that everything that happens here is reflected in our reality. So it's so, so important not to put energy into the thoughts that we're thinking that don't make us feel good, right? So freedom is coming in. You're being set free from something. This month of October, what is it that you're freeing yourself from, Taurus? You can share with me in the comment section below. You're being given energy. You're being given strength. And know that you have the power. You are capable of overcoming any kind of challenge that you find yourself in. This is uh, something that Spirit is showing you right now through signs, okay? Maybe it's your body that's giving you a sign. Maybe you're feeling this sudden surge of energy and you're wanting to do something. And the other thing is I'm getting wasted energy here as well. So you want to be mindful of where you're putting your energy. Is it energy that's being wasted in mind, like really not great things that aren't really um, helping you move forward? So the other thing Spirit is asking you to do is align yourself with people that actually uplift your energy. I feel some of you are actually meant to embrace a coach a mentor or find someone that is living a reality or an experience that you desire to live. Maybe there's something that you're wanting to do in your life and there's somebody already doing it, right? They have experience maybe reaching out to them, maybe following them on social media and listening to them. This is what I do, right? I've been listening to Bob Proctor quite a bit and I've moved on to now Bruce Lipton, right? I love neuroscience. I love anything that has to do with the brain. And you know, the brain is just a powerful, it's like a computer, right? And we have to program it. And we have the wrong programming, some of us, especially if we're experiencing a life that we don't desire to live. If we're unhappy where we're at, we have to change that programming. Programming 
um, comes in from our childhood, from our parents, um, from our upbringing, our schooling, our society, our culture, our friends, everything plays a role in that programming, but we have the power to shift that. So I feel for a lot of us, spirit is asking us to shift our mindset, to take action in uh, shifting that mindset. Now, those of you that haven't grabbed my 14 day mindset challenge ebook, I've got a link for this in the description box below. It's everything that I do in my own life that I wanted to share with you through this ebook. So once again, the link for it is in the description box below. But what's happening here is you're being ample and you're being given ample energy. So sometimes what happens is we're like, oh, I don't have enough energy. I don't know what it is. It's all about, okay, let's figure out why we're not feeling like we have the energy. Let's figure out a way to gain that energy. It's up to you, right? So spirit is wanting you to take action step by step. There's also this reminder of who you truly are and it's coming in maybe through your parents maybe there's conversations happening maybe a friend is giving you encouragement wise words wisdom all of this this is coming through the hierophant card right a reminder of who you are and what i'm also getting is dreams maybe there's some grandparents so grandparents have been coming in quite a bit in readings I feel it's just the energy in the air. I'm also getting ancestral energy. I'm getting um, ascended masters coming through. So perhaps some of you are already diving into knowledge, learning, um, growing through that learning. Uh, I'm like a sponge. I need to learn. I have to yeah, have new information, especially when I'm trying to understand things. Right now, I'm trying to understand the brain and uh, I'm looking at quantum physics and all sorts of things and trying to I don't know what it is that I'm trying to find here as far as information. I have no idea, but I know there's something there that I'm meant to find and I'm digging into that. And I feel some of you are also feeling this energy. Maybe you're digging into some information around something specific. Perhaps you're wanting to learn to grow, become rich even. I feel that money is coming in as a factor here and it's only because I've got the Knight of Wands here. Um, you're wanting to take action. You're wanting to do something that actually benefits you financially. Some of you are wanting to see yourselves growing in that energy of abundance and know that you're already in the energy of abundance and all we have to do is learn to tap into that frequency and vibration because that's all it is. It's a frequency, it's a vibration. And again, it comes down to um, the energy that we surround ourselves with, the kind of people we hang out with, the kind of people we spend our time with, our environment, all of this affects how our reality is reflected to us because of all the energies that we absorb, right? So this is where spirit wants you to reprogram your mind, start to think positive thoughts here. It's not toxic positivity. It's more so balanced, right? So finding ways or following people that already live their, uh, their desired reality. And there's words of wisdom that come from these people because I'm following a lot of people what I'm having trouble with right now in my own life where I need to gain more knowledge is how do I stay in um, alignment with my physical body? I'm trying to exercise and stuff and I've just been having a lot of difficulties with this. It's because I've never exercised in my life in this past year. I've been trying to focus on working out, but it's something that is a lifestyle change for me. And my family members never worked out. My parents never worked out. I didn't know anyone that worked out. So for me, it's really hard to implement that as a lifestyle in my life. But again, it comes down to my re my programming. So I'm reprogramming my mind to actually wake up and actually focus on my physical body, right? Because this body is what navigates us through this journey in this uh, on this earth, right? So I feel that you're expanding. There's an expansion that you're going to experience here in the month of October, and it's going to keep going here into 2025. And they want you to gain as much information. They want you to understand things a little bit more. Maybe talk to people that have wisdom around this. Uh, this is why I was getting grandparents, because I feel some of you are dreaming about your grandparents or someone that maybe you used to talk to when you were a young child and just their words used to resonate with you. I feel some of their words have even um, changed your life. I feel there's a phrase there that you can actually use as an affirmation in your life, but know that um, there's a major shift happening within you, okay? And this is a spiritual shift. You're gonna experience this, and some of you might be in the in-between of that right now. 
not sure, you know, whether this is the path that you want to walk down because you're feeling different about yourself, your beliefs are changing, maybe you're kind of going back to that old version of yourself, but you're fighting to be that new version. This is what I feel like I'm going through in my own life. I'm a Gemini sun in rising, Leo moon energy, Cancer in Virgo for me. But I'm feeling this two of swords here where I'm kind of caught in the middle here and I'm having a really hard time moving forward. Um, but I'm pushing through. I know I'm going to push through. I know myself, right? So know that you are also going to push through. If you have a vision in mind, if you desire to experience something different than what you're experiencing now, know that you are the one that is going to get yourself and break that barrier and move through whatever it is that whatever that difficulty is, you're going to move through that. And it's all about making that choice to do so, right? Making that decision to finally do that thing that you've been wanting to do. Right? Spirit wants you to take a leap of faith on yourself. Okay, They want you to take a chance on yourself. Now's the time for you to do it because they're trying to remind you of who you are. There's a version of you that was in a past life. I feel for some of you there's a reincarnation that happened uh, of your energy here. Uh, I feel some of you have come back and there's a purpose for that. Maybe you remember this. And I feel this is where the ancestor energy is coming in. You're tapping into some sort of wisdom, right? There's something um, you know that you're meant for. And perhaps you're looking for um, more knowledge around this. Maybe you're trying to understand it and you're not sure. I'm getting a lot of uncertainty here. So clear the air here. Clear your mind of everything that is confusing you or making you not feel good. Release those thoughts and let's start with a clean slate. Let's start with a clean empty mind here and start with visualizing what it is that you want to experience in your life. What is that, Taurus? Can you visualize your desired experience? Visualize it and hold it there for a good 20 seconds. Um, walk around in that landscape of that reality that you want to experience. Who are you there? Right. I talk about this all the time because I feel it's so important for us to practice visualizing our desired experience. And it's OK if it changes from time to time. Right. So visualize this, hold this there, practice it as much as you can. And let's focus on solutions rather than problems. I'm getting someone thinking about all the things that could come in your way. You don't know that because you don't know the future. Right. The best thing that you can do is Take a step forward, another step forward, and keep doing that and working your way through it because you're going to find your way through it. You're very strong. You also have spirit on your side. Your spirit guides are your co-creators, right? So they're lining up everything for you as long as you're moving forward and keep moving forward. Now, the other thing is your words are going to be very powerful here. Uh, communication for you is going to be very important. I feel some of you are saying one thing and doing another. Or perhaps this is someone else in your life that is saying one thing and doing another, right? Results speak for themselves, everyone. I feel that Maybe you have someone in your life that likes to give you a lot of good advice, but their life is not exactly what you desire to experience and they're not experiencing the life they would desire to experience. Maybe you have a lot of information because I feel that some of you are studying, maybe you're taking in information by reading a lot of books. Spirit is saying find one book that resonates with you, the words of that book and study it. The study of that book, the study of that words, that knowledge is what's going to help you um, move forward here. I don't know. I feel there's a specific book or some sort of information coming in where you're meant to apply that knowledge. You're meant to actually apply it. Um, communicate very clearly here. Be honest about what it is that you're feeling. Be honest about what it is that you're doing. Don't be afraid about other people's opinions or judgments. Those are always going to be there, everyone. I've had to learn the hard way, and now I don't care what people say. You know, I, it, I feel like I'm going to do what I want anyways. I, I will listen to some good advice. Uh, criticism is good as well, but overall, I'm not going to give any of that energy, right? It's kind of like, okay, I'm going to do what I want. Thank you so much for the information you provided. Um, but a lot of times I feel like we people please or we do things because it might uh, make us look good in someone's eyes or whatever the reason is. They want you to do what it is that you want to do. Make your own decisions here. Remember who you are and why you're here. Again, some of you are tapping into this energy and starting to realize who you truly are. Pay attention to the number 11s. They're coming in. This is letting you know that you're going through an awakening. This is letting you know that you're going through um, an elevation spiritually here. There's expansion happening and 
If you don't know something, I feel that look for the um, knowledge or, or, or find a solution around it. Figure it out is what spirit, instead of giving up, they want you to move ahead and try to figure it out and unravel it rather than just calling it quits. This is what spirit is asking you to do here, um, Taurus. So a lot of powerful things that are going on here. And uh, you're going to see how quickly you move forward. You're going to claim victory in your life here, Taurus. This month of October, you're going to be uh, claiming a lot of victories here, my friends. This is what I'm seeing here through the decisions that you make. Okay, and make sure that you're making those decisions based on what you desire. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is pull a spirit animal card. Now, this comes with uh, an oracle message and a protection message. I'm going to read them both to you today. All right, so we are getting for you bat spirit. A rebirth is assured. Look at that. That reincarnation rebirth energy here. So if you're seeing a bat, this is a confirmation of the message of this card. If you haven't seen a bat, you're seeing one now on your screen. So the number five here, if you're seeing the number five anywhere in your life, this is a confirmation for you. Um, you could be a life path number five. Perhaps you were born on the fifth of the month here, any month of the year, everyone. And uh, those of you looking for timing, I'm getting five days, five weeks, five months and five hours around the message of this card. So five is a number of change. It's also a number of success and growth. Grow through you going through the change where you experience a lot of success, right? So the oracle message here is after something has run its course and died or been released, finished, surrendered, completed, or ended, there is promise of a new beginning. Rebirth is assured just as night gives way to dawn and the bat emerges from the darkness of a womb-like cave. Bat spirit has come to remind you that this rebirth is a miraculous one. For the very best elements of what you had to give up in the death of the old are still present in this new beginning, new amazing life forming now. This is the miracle and magic of rebirth in every aspect of your life, including the rebirth of faith in your ability to establish new and healthy relationships. Bat spirit reminds you that at present you are in the unknown territory and may feel as if you are lost. However, you are called to trust that your intuition will be a reliable guide as you give birth to something new and unfamiliar. Bat spirit has listened in the darkness of night and has heard all your hopes and dreams, your fears and worries, and assures you that this new version of your dream, this move from darkness into light, from loss to found and death to rebirth, comes to fruition with love at its core. Bat spirit asks you to trust that what seems to have died is actually shape-shifting into something even more meaningful and wondrous than before. If you feel you are in the dark, know that come morning, all will be revealed and things will be anew in a new form that is right for you. Now, the protection message is, what are you refusing to let die, Taurus? Bat spirit is gently nudging you to let go of your need to cling to the familiar story that has already run its course. A new story is poised to be born. Some dreams were only meant to last for a moment in time. Sometimes they were only there to slow you down as you re-collaborate in preparation for the new life that will give you what you really want. Perhaps you need to grieve as you say goodbye to something. At least you're saying goodbye to its familiar form. Perhaps you must let go of a part of you that must die so you can be reborn. This temporary time is the dark, in the dark doesn't have to be scary or sad though. Bat spirit gives her powers to you of perception and awareness as you learn to listen deeply and navigate these unknown caves of temporary emptiness. You will emerge with a new perspective and bat spirit will witness you giving birth to the life that matches the intentions and desires of your heart and soul. So look at that. What a beautiful message here for you today. So bat spirit, everyone. All right, let's pull an angel number. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So look at this. This one wanted to show itself the right decision. 2626. If you're seeing these numbers in this sequence anywhere in your life, this is a confirmation that you're making a right decision here or you've made the right decision already. Don't doubt your decisions here, everyone. So embracing the future. Spirit wants you to start embracing the future here, everyone. You have a lot of inner wisdom. They're wanting you to release any kind of fears or thoughts that you have that are working against your desired reality. You're overcoming a lot of things in your life right now and they're wanting you to start being optimistic about your life, okay? Be optimistic. Walk the path of faith here, everyone. Know that you are guided, you are protected, and you are safe, okay?
All right, everyone, I'm super excited to announce to you that my sister-in-law, Katomi, has put together her Christmas ritual box. Now, these are available right now. I have the link for these in the description box below. This is a protection box. There is a purpose behind this. It's going to come with full instructions on how to use this kit. It comes with two candles. Each of these candles have a stone. One of the candles actually have a tassel, okay? The stones in these candles are going to be consecrated, so you're you're going to put intentions in these candles and you're going to be able to carry these stones around you after the fact. Now, there's only a limited supply of these, everyone. So the deadline for these, the last one you can order is on December the 5th. And we wanted to get these out early because last year we sold out of them. So again, secure yours today. I've got the link for these in the description box below. All right, so before I end this video off, I just wanted to mention to everyone that I just opened my memberships page. It's been almost a month since it's been up and running. So if you're somebody that really enjoys my channel, enjoys the work that I do, and want to see more of what it is that I'm doing, you can join my membership page. Now, the first tier is open. That's at $2.99 per month. And what you get here is custom emojis that I've made for all of you myself. All right, and there's stories behind each one which I'm going to share with you throughout some posts uh, over the next little while here in the membership section of the community page. So once again, feel free to join my membership page, especially if you're wanting to support me at this time. So this is your message, this is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.